<laughs> is the thing that people are afraid to talk about here. And the politicians, as I said, do not want to talk about it. And I can't see them talking about it during the election. Some of them, like Birdie and things, he's got uh, translations of his literature in, in various languages. But if you were a politician here, how would you sell integration, multiculturalism, immigration to electorate here as a positive thing? Well, Ireland's economy is booming. If it wasn't for foreigners, they would have run out of uh, labour ages ago, mm -hmm. They'd have, uh, and uh, the boom would have ended. Uh, likewise, you know, the, uh, it relies on foreign builders, foreign nurses, foreign doctors. Um, uh, and they still can't vote. Foreign, so get, I, 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 they, they still can't vote, but people do benefit from it. Which is, I'm saying that's wrong. And, and, they can vote in local elections, and they can vote in European also, elections, but they can't vote also you, have to, you also have to see, look, how many people... Remember the Live Aid concerts, how many, so many people care about um, uh, global poverty and injustice and say so actually the best way to help um, people in developing countries is to allow them to come work here. If you think about it, um, rich countries give only, rich country governments give only 80 billion US dollars in aid uh, to uh, poor country governments. Migrants from poor countries living in rich countries send home 600 billion US dollars each year. That's a multiple of it. And that money isn't sort of spent on weapons. It doesn't end up in Swiss bank accounts. It goes straight into the pockets of local people. It pays for food. It pays for medicines. It keeps kids in school. It helps set up businesses. It's the best kind of foreign aid you can imagine. So if you care about, uh, if you, if you care about injustice and you care about uh, helping the poor, then you ought to be allowing them to come work here. Yeah, but we've I got... Vote for you. Can you... I vote for you. The thing is, unfortunately, <laughs> Philip, there's going to be some one of those arsehole politicians Ooh, at home going, right that down. This is gold. I'd love this to be. But anyway, I'd we'll love this to be like an I, you know, an author, you know, we do something about the immigration, new immigration law. I'd love this to be a test of Irishness. You know, so you get the immigrants in and you say, right, sir, you've got to be Irish from now on. So you've got to do that dancing without your hands and, and, <laughs> and play that little thing and, and explain what a baron is. Yeah, you begrudge other people's success. Yes, you're Irish. <laughs> <laughs> You're in. Don't, don't. in. <laughs> so that's it. Um, that's all we've got time for, unfortunately, Philippe. Um, would you please um, show your appreciation to Philippe Legrand, who's down there? Our first guest this evening, Dave Coffey. And also our panelists this evening, the gentleman John Bishop. <laughs> Neil Delamere. <laughs> Tara Lovely Grant. <laughs> and Carl Spin. Join us again next week for the second of our election specials. My name is Colin Murphy. All the best. Good night. The dog shit on the streets. They get a busty bird in a bikini to scoop shit like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know. I don't know about anyone else. But the idea of a post of someone scooping shit. Enough. So I think if you're going to have a scooping shit post there, make it as good as you can make it. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd have a good looking beard or a big fella dressed as a clown or something. Or maybe a clown but a scoopy shit with fun. You know what I mean? Ain't it? Or a big beard or something. You can't just say, look, scoop shit, there's a photograph of a doll of his shit. Jeez, that's not going to make you want to do it, is it? But there's a chance of a pair of tits falling out when she bends over. You think, oh, I'll have a go at shit scooping next time I take the dog for a walk. Well, I actually it's just think... an opinion, that's oh, all. But I wouldn't knock the campaign, that's all I'm saying. <laughs>